Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. Yeah, I'm going to go there, I'm going to remove that water. I'm going to take the water out from there. I'm just going to leave that as it is. I'm not going to make any changes to it. And I'm, I'm just going to leave that kind of doing nothing at all at the moment until a little bit later. And instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to block that over like that. There, I need two more bits, which we will go and get. I'm also going to go and check out this side for some more chicken eggs. Not worried about getting chickens. I'm going to just try and get some eggs. Now, we've got plenty of sheep in here. There's several naked sheep running around. I will like, breed a few more of them, but I'm going to start trying to separate the sheep out into separate pens pretty soon. Uh, but for that, I'm going to need a much, much bigger area. So first things first, let's go and find a few chickens and see if we can get some more eggs. Because I've only got eight eggs right now, and I definitely want more than eight. Now, there are bees down here with beehive. I don't really know what you can do with them. I don't know if there's, um, I don't know anything about them at the moment. You have provided an egg. That is very generous of you. There is some more chicken over here. There is another egg, I see. Excellent. Chickens themselves, I'm going to just ignore. If I find any sheep wandering around out here, I will execute them. Mercilessly and without pity. Because, you know, they're tasty. Um, I don't see any more chickens. Is it really only two? It's not a lot of chickens. I don't mind having the chickens sort of just wandering around. I, I've got no issues with chickens wandering around whatsoever. I, th I think they're, they're wonderful company. They're amazing little things. But if they could lay me some more eggs, that would be really awesome. It's just these. It's, it, it is just these two. I haven't got any more. I thought there were more than that. But no, I, I'm not going to try and get because to get them back, you've got to you've got to have corn. You've got to try and lead them, and it, it takes absolutely ages. Now, I'm sure you can get honey out of there. I don't know that the, there are things you can do with redstone with blocks of honey. I know that much, but what it actually does, I don't know, and I, I don't really want to try attacking a bee's nest just in case all those bees get mad with me and try to. Um, you know, punish me with, with stings and, and so on for, for trying to steal the, the tasty honey. So uh, we'll leave that for a minute. And I'm going to go this way, if I can. There. Because I've seen another chicken up here. I'm, going all, I'm, I'm chasing all this way after I'm sure I've seen a chicken up here somewhere. I'm going after him like this. And you wait. Oh, there, there he is. There's going to be no eggs here. You wait. He's, he's not going to have laid any eggs. Where is he? Oh, he's run over there. Have you laid an egg anywhere around? Oh, there he is. Yes, nice. Okay, fantastic. Okay, you. I, I will allow you to live. You, you laid an egg. You've proved yourself useful. I will allow you to live. Just for a little bit. Just, just, just for a few days longer. Not long, just, just a few days. There's something over here. What did I just see over here? Oh, there's another cave. Uh, right. How big is this cave? There's gravel there. Clear it out. We will light it up. Right. There's, there's, there's nothing much in that one. It's just like a little tiny cave with nothing much in it. Uh, I think there was a bit of coal in the back there, wasn't there? I'm going to ignore that. And um, this is just a, an open loop right the way round. Oh, I've run out of torches. No, I haven't. i got another 64 right there. Let's put another one up there. Okay. And then I will come back out this way. There's more. I did hear another. There's another chicken and there's another egg over with it. We will go and grab that one. We'll get that egg. Ever so important. We need these. And there we go. Right, I've got the egg. I can... There's a sheep. There's one sheep right there. And there's the, the, there's more of them around. We'll have you. And we will have you there. What? Are you, what are you? 
What on earth was that? That sounded horrible. Seriously, that gave me chills. I said, what on earth is this? I'm being attacked. I'm too young. I'm too pretty to die. But I didn't die, so it was all right. They actually died really quickly. I don't even know what those things were. There's so many different zombies and stuff. What have they done to this game? It used to just be like the occasional zombie and, and the, the creeper. Now now there's all sorts of stuff that keep wandering around. I'm getting, I getting. I know the drowned. I know the drowned. I'm uh, familiar with those. But there's, there's loads of others as well, and they're terrifying and frightening, and I don't like them. Uh, it doesn't appear to be much more in the way of... Oh, there, there is an egg. There is definitely an egg over there. We're going to get that one. Another egg. Yes, thank you very much, random chicken. I appreciate your offering. I really do. Uh, no more over here. Let's go back to the two over this side. They, they've been quite industrious with their egg laying, so maybe they've, they've provided another one for us. They seem to like us. I'm sure that's why they keep laying eggs. It's, it's because they like us. It must be. It, it absolutely must be. I can think of no other reason. And it will go over this way like this. All right, let's, let's, let's drop down here. Uh, where are you? Where are you, chickens? You're over here somewhere. There. They're up, they're up this way. Down behind my base. There is the honey right in there. I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to touch that until I've... I'm going to... Yeah, bees, see. I'm I'm going to leave the bees until such time as I, I find out exactly what the deal is with them. I'm a bit concerned that I could end up doing something bad and, and dying or killing the bees. And I don't know how common they are. I don't think I've seen any others. But we've got them here. So, we, you know, we'll, we'll leave them and then we'll see if we can make use of them. Once I've figured out what they are. Well, how, not what they are. Just, just how to use them, mostly. Uh, right. There was a chicken that was kind of hanging around on this bit, wasn't there? We did have one hanging around here. We've we've picked up a few eggs. He was quite close to our base. Is he still here? Well, technically, it's a she, I suppose. It it, it the, the chicken the chicken is definitely there's no t there's no I suppose the, the the chicken is definitely a she. Otherwise, it wouldn't be laying eggs. I've got fourteen eggs on me now. That's a bit better. Let's go to you, and go to you. Right, you need to come over this way. There. Right, that's a match made in heaven. And uh, you come over this side. We get more. I've, I want a whole load more of these breeding for a minute because then I've got uh, lots and lots of them here. The wool itself I'm not going to worry about. But now I've got lots of sheep, so I will be able to use those for food. We'll have a decent ongoing food supply. Did I bring all of the... I haven't gone and picked up 14 eggs now, have I? No, I need to go I need to go down to the base anyway because I need to get some... Um, I, I need to get the glass that I was uh, making. There we go. All right, I've got more glass now. That's good. And I'll just have a look in here. No, I have already picked up the eggs. There's none in there. Yes, right. 14 eggs. That's what we've got. We've got 14 eggs. Hopefully... We will get at least one small chicken spawn from these 14 eggs. And this is the, the, the one little bit that doesn't always work quite according to plan. So we'll go in over here. And then I'm going to break them against the side wall there. Although technically you shouldn't try and do that. You should... Because they, they can... Um, sometimes they don't spawn properly. There, right. I've got one chick. I got another seven eggs, and we get uh, that's two. Right, I've got two little chickens in there. These two little chickens will grow into big chickens. They will probably fall down into there, and they will stay there for now. Uh, we will see about changing that round so that then they spend their life up on that bit, which is what I'd really like. I do have wheat seeds in here, so I'm gonna break that. There. I, I can't feed them. I need to get... I, I actually need to get right down into them to be able to feed them the, the seeds. Which is 
That's the, all right, we'll just, we'll just have to have some patience. So what will happen now is they will, just for a while, they will continue, it, this will continue to spawn. They will grow. Then they will, when they're adult chickens, they will start laying eggs. Those eggs will go through the system and they'll get broken down there, which will make more chickens. And eventually then this thing will have like lots and lots of chickens in it. But it does take quite a bit of time to do that. So that's my first bit of automation right there. I know it's taking quite a long time. Um, there are plenty of videos around and tutorials on how to do this simple bit of redstone in here. It's really, really easy. And, and the rest of it's fairly straightforward as well. Um, and we'll we'll deal with the rest of that some other time. Now it's night. Night time is coming. So let's go back to sleep. And then I'm going to have a look at... There's, there's a few other things that I want to start doing. One is I want to find some cows so that we can get them back here and have a source of leather. Um, I'm not going to worry about getting stuff down there at the moment. I want a source of leather. I want to tidy up the base a little bit. Definitely want to be tidying up some of this stuff. Like, look at all this stuff that I'm carting around. I don't need to be carrying this much stuff around. This is getting ridiculous. Uh, I'm going to want a... You know what? Let's dump all the wool in here for now. Put all of that wool in there. Uh, plus the bits of smooth stone. One bit of wheat seed. That's, that's fine. Uh, pop the mutton in there a minute and get that cooking. I got masses of wheat seeds right here. I got one more lot right there. Let's just, let's just dump that and the redstone dust. Uh, the glass can go into here. I want that and the smooth stone. I got a bow right there. I've got some arrows. I've got more wheat over here. I got the melon slices. I, I've got lots and lots of stuff that I'm carting around. I, I, I can dump that water bucket there for a minute because we don't want that until after the chickens have, have kind of like done a bit more growing of chickens. Now, this is not a suitable house, is it? We can't, We need a much better house than just this kind of mess that I've got. And yes, ideally, eventually I want to turn all of this into something spectacular. Uh, but we're, we're going to sort of take it one step at a time. We're not going to we're not going to go nuts with absolutely everything in here. They can stay there. They will be fine. I would like carrot. I need to find carrots. And there's a number of other things that I want to find as well. Let's go into here like this. I've got all of my sheep. They're doing great. That's coming along very nicely. We've got pumpkins and stuff in here. You know, what? out of the way, sheep. Out of the way. Let me go in here. I'm going to harvest these pumpkins a minute. We'll do that. And then I'll get some pumpkin seeds. And we'll plant the rest of this bit down through with, with more pumpkin seeds. So if I'll just do that. I've now got 28 pumpkin seeds. And I'll put those down through there. I don't think you can do anything with pumpkin or melon seeds. I don't think you can, like, grind. I would like, if you can't, I want to find a mod where you can use the seeds. Because it seems like such a waste. And also, that seems like a waste right there. Like, that one being on that side instead of over there. Ideally, you want them a little bit further apart. And then it doesn't matter which side they go. Uh, so I'm just going to break that one there. It's going to give me a little bit of melon. Um... I know that you don't actually need to go and get the pumpkin seeds. Like, you, you can... In fact, I've got these pumpkin seeds here. I'm going to ditch them right now. I'm going to chuck these away. I'm just I'm just going to chuck them over there like that. I don't want them. I, I, got, I got no use for them. What am I going to do with those? Right. And, and I'm going to... I can't get up onto the fence like that. Let me go out through here like this. Into the tatey po garden, and all of those potato poes are ready to harvest. So we will do that in a minute. I got 19 potatoes from that, so I will come back down through there and harvest the uh, plant those, 
And down that side, and we'll stick one over there. Right, so now we're really talking with the potatoes. They're really starting to spread. I want another such garden over here, which we will have for carrots. Uh, you can have beetroot as well now. It's another crop that you can grow. Someone said that it's actually better to, like, alternate. You have a line of carrots and a line of potatoes and a line of wheat and, and so on. It is, actually does better. I'd not heard of that. That's a new one on me. Um, I mean, if that's the case, that's the case. If that's, that's how it is now. Nothing would surprise me with this game anymore. There's been so many changes with it. Um, so that's something that we could look at doing later. This area in here, I'm thinking this is going to end up being uh, like more rooms or something. We may uh, like square it all out and, and dig it out, but I'm, I'm not doing that today. That's, that's, a, a, that's a project for another time. I was going to dig off some more timber, like clear some more of that jungle area over there. Um, what do I want? I want to be able to do enchantments. In order to be able to do enchantments properly, I'm going to want some uh, cows back here so that we can farm leather. And I'm also going to want a supply of, uh, what do you call it? Um, let me go in this way, like this. I'm also going to want a supply, I I'm going to want, no, I don't want to go down there. Uh, I'm going to want leather, and I'm going to want, um, you know, the stuff that you make paper with. A uh, sugar cane, sugar cane. I'm, I'm going to want sugar cane. Now... Which direction was it? North is up that way. West is that way. East is that way. And south is that way. Pretty sure, if I remember correctly, the best direction to go for us for multiple villages and other cool areas is actually north and not south. I may have said south was the best direction to go. But I got a feeling it's actually north. I think I may have um, read that wrong. Um, let me bring up F3 over here. We want to go that way. Yes, it is north that we want to go. We want to go towards negative Z. So it is this direction. If you have a look on the right-hand side, second paragraph... Uh, sorry, not the right-hand side, the left-hand side. That would make a big difference. Left-hand side, for those of you who are unfamiliar with what you're looking at right now, you um, ignore all the, the first paragraph of numbers. On the second paragraph, the first line's got X, Y, Z. Underneath that, you've got block. Underneath that, you've got chunk. And, and you've also got facing direction. So we're facing north at the moment. And if you go to the X, Y, Z, you can see those numbers. You can see that my X is 255, Y is 83, Z is 45, and that's counting down. I know that we need to go in that direction to find several villages. There are a couple of villages that way, but there are more this way. And plus, there's some other good zones. There's um, like desert. I like desert zone and mesa and, and so on. And um, that's all this way. Most of it is this way. So that's the direction that we need to go. Um, the chunk number there, that's not important at the moment. It will become important for us at a later date, when I want to do some work with uh, ba building a slime farm. You have to find a chunk that spawns slimes. Now, you, there's two ways you can do that. You dig to, I think, you, you go to a set depth or something, um, and then you, you basically you, you do a lot of experiments and you spend a lot of time finding out where the slimes are spawning, and then when you find it, you get the chunk and you dig it all out. Or you just do what I do, and that saves a whole lot of really, really boring trial and effort. Uh, trial and effort, tri trial and error. Um, you take the Minecraft seed, which is in the description, and you go to minecraftseed.com or something like that. Um, and or speed check, uh, seed check, Minecraft seed checker or something, something like that. You just just do a seed checker search on Google, I think. Um, Put the seed in there, and it will give you a map. And on that map, it will tell you where everything is. Um, it does. Act, you can actually use it to find all of the dungeons. Like, you know the spider dungeon that we found a couple of episodes ago? Um, the other ones that we found. It will mark all of those on the map if you want to. I don't ever try to find out where those are. I don't ever try to find out where the fortress is. You can only find using ender pearls. 
I do use it for finding villages when I can't see any around. I use it for finding interesting biomes so that I'm not wandering around in circles for hours. And I use it for finding villages when I can't, when I, you know, when I can't find any. Uh, the slime chunk as well. I use it to find the slime chunk so that I can easily locate that one in game very quickly and then just, you know, get to work. Um, it's a lot faster. It's a lot easier. It, it just, just makes life so much better. Now, I'm going to line up here with the dead center there. It's actually with that pillar right there, and it's the center of our tunnel. That's where I'm going to line up, and I'm going to just dig that one off right there so I've got this one marked out. Um, we go to F3 right here. We are on uh, X255. That is X255 on there. I'm not going to bother with some oak plank. Yeah, I, I was wondering whether I should like put something down here just to tell us, tell me where I am. But I'm not going to bother with that. And what I am going to do though is I'm going to start digging a bit of a path along here. All right, and I have there. There is method to my madness. Oops, oops I didn't want to do that. Okay, fine, I'll dig you off then. Um, there, put a torch down. Uh, I want to dig a path along here because what I would like to do is I would like to have a path that goes to the nearest village. Now, we can go up over the top of all of the mounds that we find or we can sort of, uh, some of it, we can dig through it. Some of it, we will go over the top. Um, and I'd like to sort of start building a track towards it. It takes a while to build a track to a village. I've done it before, and I would like to do it again. So, like, I get to here. Now, I can dig through this. I can I can just go over the top it. I'm, I'm going to dig through this one. This is another one that I'm going to dig through. There's trees above this one. There's our, our footpath right there. It goes right through here. So, I'm actually going to take off these two trees. I don't want trees overhanging my path. I'm going to start by taking off some of these. What I'm actually going to do right now, though, is I'm going to go running back through here. Are they spawning already? Probably. There's probably already stuff spawning. I'm going to go running back home. And I'm going to go and get some sleep because nasty things are going to start spawning in a minute. So we're going to go back to our base. Look at all of the sheep that we've got in here. Now we've got a decent supply of food in here. That's what these are. These are a supply of food. They're also a supply of wool, which is absolutely fantastic. So if you over this way, and that one, there, and then I want you and you like that. And I want you over here with that one, you over here with that one. Uh, you and you. I don't know if anybody's noticed what I'm doing here. You, 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 you. Female sheep is called a you. Did you know that? For those of you who didn't, now you do. Right. Uh, there are no more that I can make at the moment. There are no more couples. The rest of you are going to be... Well, there's one single solitary lonely sheep. Interestingly here, I've only got one white sheep. All the others have been spawning um, light grey, dark grey. I've only got one white one so far. Let's see if I can get some more white sheep in here. Otherwise, we're not going to have any white wool. You know I mean, you can dye the wool white, and then you can go and dye another sheep. Um, you can dye just... Well, yeah, I, I could do that, actually. Bone meal. I can, I can just use a bit of bone meal. Or, no, use bone meal to make white dye, and then... That, in turn, gets made into, um, uh, used, yeah, bone meal to make white dye, which, in turn, gets made into, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the thingamajig. Um, use it on the sheep and it turns it white. That's what you do. I'm actually going to do, I'm going to do that in a minute. We're going to get a bit, we're going to get a bit more shut eye right in here. Have a sleep. Have a well-earned rest. We, we, we have properly earned that. We've been doing a lot of work. And what have we got in here? Oh, I have nothing in there that I want at the moment. What about you? There, I got... I'm going to take one single solitary bone from there. 
And I'm going to go into there, and I make bone meal, and then I'll go into there, and I make white dye. I only want one white dye, and then I've got two bone meal that I can go and put on a plant somewhere where we'll go and do something like that. And then i got a whole load of different dyes that I can now go and mix up. i got absolutely loads of dyes in here. If we have a look in there, magenta, pink light blue, light gray, white, uh, lime, yellow, blue, and you can make a pen of sheep with every single type of dye there is. I can make a pen full of sheep with every type of dye, if, if I so choose. Uh, I got three more of those, which I want to take with me. Like that uh, I'm going to let's get rid of the book a minute. Uh, I want to do that, and I want to do that. Right, let's go. We will go and dye one of those sheep white for no other reason than I can, and then I'll just dump a bit of that bone meal onto one of these plants that I've got in here. All right, let's go in here like this. Now, who have I got the most of? I, th I don't know what happens if I put white onto a dark grey, whether that makes it into a light grey. I've got more, I can find out. Right, no, that does actually make it white. So now I've got two white sheep. Alright. Right out of the way. Out of the way, sheep! Move, you stay there. I've got no need for you over this way. I've got busy... I, I'm, I'm a busy person. I've got busy things to go and do. We can go and build a railway through here. We, If we can find a village, we can actually... You know, I want to get rid of that. That great big mess there that we got from a creeper blowing up. I want to get rid of all of that. That's standard stone. I don't want to use that up. Right. I want to fill this up, and I want—I want to get rid of this. This, this is a—this is a terrible mess in here. So we will see if we can fill some of this pit. And probably I don't have enough material at the moment, so we'll have to come back to this one to continue filling it. But this is what I'd like to do: is I, I want to fill this one up so that it is level with the surrounding area, like this. Yeah, I don't quite have enough to finish this task. I got enough to just make a start on it, but not enough to finish it. So we'll go over here, and I'll dig through this bit right here. And I'm going to dig through as much as I can, and then I will go and switch over to my pickaxe like this. Go up a bit higher, and we'll go back to the old shovely poo, and go through like that. Uh, pickaxe. Eventually, I would like this road that I'm going to build, I would like to have a railway on the road all the way through. Uh, and I'd like it to be a minimum of three wide on any banks on the sides. I want it to be stepped away from the uh, where we're traveling so that nothing can spawn on the track it takes a long time to build something like that i have done it in the past and it it does take a while especially the bigger that you the bigger and grander you want something like that the more effort that it takes and it, it and what i've just sort of um, outlined there is quite a significant amount of effort but we will be able to do it it's just something that's going to take a while. Right, let's just drop that axe into there like that and grab those bits of timber. The other drops that will come from the tree, I'm not quite so concerned about them. Uh, I'm going to go up here and I'm just going to dig down through this one. Like that. And I've got another one over there that I want to get. And I've got this bit. Now this one over here, start off, let's eat another bit of... Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. If you have time, do please consider checking out the links in the description down below. There is one for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers, including but not limited to Minecraft and Farming Simulator. And there is also Fanatical, who sell vast quantities of computer games at very reasonable prices. There is also a discount code in the description alongside the link. 
If you've enjoyed this video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.